Hi everyone, so welcome to our next tutorial on Google Analytics email tracking. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to use Google Analytics for email link tracking. That is when you create an email, and this could be your newsletter email, promotional email from webinar, or maybe you're just promoting your blog post. How can you tell in Google Analytics that the traffic coming to your website is through this particular email campaign? Because if you don't do that, Anytime somebody clicks on the link on your email campaign, it's going to get registered as medium none and source direct, and which is equivalent to somebody coming on Google or Chrome and just typing in your URL. So there's no way for you to know which traffic is coming direct and which came from the newsletter. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create those so you can distinguish between the both. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, I have created a test email. So this could be a newsletter that is directing traffic to one of my blog posts on artificial intelligence applications affecting 14 areas of fashion. So I'm going to go find that URL, which is right here. And then I'm going to send this email newsletter to traffic to this particular page. For your instance, you know, this could have, could be your webinar page, could be your different blog posts, could be your special product sales page, could be anything. So the process remains the same. So before I add a link here, I'm going to go to Google and search for Google URL Builder. So this is the free tool that I use and will allow me to create a custom URL that has all the data that I can use. So it shows me in Google Analytics that this email, this uh, link or this traffic came from this email link. So I'm going to copy the URL of the landing page, which is the website and paste it here. And my campaign source, so this is newsletter. And I usually write the name of the month as well. So as you know, time progresses, it's easier for me to keep track. So I'm going to write in October and 2019. And the campaign medium is, of course, email. And the campaign name, so I typically will write in the name of the blog post or the title of the blog post. So we'll write in 14 areas of fashion. Right, so this for me to easily keep track and the campaign term. So this could be this is mostly for the keywords, uh, especially when you're using paid advertisements. So for in this case, we can keep it empty and the campaign content ends up being when you're doing like multiple ads. So for example, if you're sending two emails for your product, one of them is offering free shipping. Other email is offering 50% uh, off. So you can have different names here, but the rest of the stuff remains the same. So as you can see, it has generated a campaign URL for me with the information as the campaign UTM campaign name, which is 14 years of fashion, the campaign medium, as you can see here, it says email and the campaign source, which is right here as newsletter for October, 2019. So we'll the, this information is eventually going to help us distinguish the traffic that came from the email. So I'm going to convert this into a short URL. I'm going to copy this. And this is the email that I've created and I want users to click on this link. So I'll click here and I'm going to add this particular link right here. So if so right now this is a text based link, but even if you have like an image, you can actually link link that image as well to, to URL and it works exactly the same. So I'm going to send this to myself um, so we can see how this functions. I send it in. This is the email. And now when I click on this thing, so right now here's information. This is the previous one that I did email newsletter. Remember, in this case, we call it newsletter October. Um, so I'm going to click on this and it lands me on this particular page, right? So this is the page where I was directing my traffic to. So now when I come back to Google Analytics in under real time, I'm going to click on traffic sources. Which let me refresh this. Okay, here we go. So traffic resources and see now it says oh, newsletter October 2019. And this is exactly what we call the campaign source. So now when somebody, I sense it's just me, I clicked on this link, I landed on this page and it has been registered as email and which source the email was. So when I click on email, it gave me more details. So the source is newsletter for October, 2019 and the campaign name or the landing page where it was going was 14 areas of fashion. And as you can see, this is exactly what we named it here. 14 years of fashion, campaign media is email and campaign source is newsletter October. So now, I'm able to tell which traffic sources or which traffic came through from this particular um, email campaign. And this shows me how many people. And so right now it's just me. 
So right now it just shows one. So eventually if you send it as a newsletter, you know, you could have a couple hundred people, maybe a couple thousand, and this number will designate and let you know which people, how many number of people came through this one. So since this is a real time, so it shows right here, but eventually all this information is going to end up under acquisition, all traffic, source and medium, and eventually you will start seeing all that information right here since it says source and medium. Uh, and this, it takes, I would say maybe six to eight hours until this information will start showing up, showing up here. But with this real time, you can actually see that this particular um, flow is actually functional. So this is a really easy way to use Google Analytics for email tracking, or you can use Google Analytics for email link tracking. And, and you can track all the different type of emails you're running, different campaigns, and so on and so forth. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you have any follow-up questions on this particular tutorial, please do leave them in the form of a comment, and I'll be more than happy to answer. So thank you very much, and have a great day. Thank you.